Well, we've got some frantic local brides because the store they bought their wedding dresses from has suddenly closed. Alfred Angelo shut down and is reportedly filing for bankruptcy. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at one of their locations. It's uh, on Beverly Grove. And uh, is there anything these brides can do, Cara? Well, that is the question. Just like everyone you see around us here, we have been trying to get in touch with the company to get some answers. The store behind us, it was set to open at 11 this morning. Uh, no signs of life inside. We do see lots of dresses, but they're just out of the reach of some very panicky brides. Where's my dress? A brigade of brides jilted not by their grooms, but their bridal shops showing up outside Alfred Angelo stores in the Southland and across the country. I wasn't able to sleep. I'm like, I have to get up and camp there and at least make an attempt to pick up my dress that's paid for. Tanya Odom says she's completely paid off her dream dress. She just had a few more fittings to go before her wedding. I've lost a few pounds, so it's going to look extra good in Jamaica. I didn't get a call or anything. They didn't even call to cancel my alterations appointment. Nothing. No type of call, email. We didn't. I found out because of my aunt was watching the news. Raina Bossy first came to the Beverly Grove shop last night, but it was already shut down. She returned this morning armed with her best friend, who's also getting married and bought her dress. Guess where? So I did pay my down payment. Um, am I going to get a refund? Um, do I need to start looking for another dress? I don't, I don't know. Alfred Angelo abruptly shut down its 60 bridal stores across the country yesterday. The company's reportedly filing for bankruptcy. We looked for answers at the Huntington Beach store last night, but got this reception. Well, CBS crews who showed up at the company's offices in Florida found them empty. Hopefully, this dream will not become a nightmare. Online, recent brides and bridesmaids have been trying to help ladies left in the lurch, offering up their dresses for free. Tanya says she may not end up walking down the aisle in this dress, but what matters most will be by her side. Well, I'm devastated and hurt and prepared that if I have to buy another dress, I will. All right, back here live. Here's what the signs say. Store closed, closed for the day. Sorry for the inconvenience. Open for pickup only. And there is a number. Jeff and Sandra, the folks here tell us they have repeatedly tried calling that number. They're not getting any answers, unfortunately. They also tell us that just a couple of days ago, some of them were here and they were taking new orders at that point.